Good morning, Father Jeff Henry here at St. Michael Catholic Community at Travis Air Force Base. And I wanted to talk to you about today's gospel lesson from our mass, the daily mass, which Jesus says, I'm just going to read just a couple lines from this. He says to his disciples, you have heard that it was said, you shall love your neighbor and hate your enemy. But I say to you, love your enemies and pray for those who persecute you, that you may be children of your heavenly father. Then later on in the reading, it says, be perfect just as your heavenly father is perfect. Why is it so critical that we love our enemies? And what does that mean to love our enemies? Does it mean that we pretend like they're not our enemies? I find that perfectly unacceptable. I find that encouraging that God says, don't pretend they're not your enemies. They are your enemies because of the way they treat you. But the wonderful thing about this is that we still have choices. Just because somebody treats us a certain way doesn't mean we have to give in to their negative reinforcement of their behavior towards us. We can be greater than that because God is in us. We are imitating the Lord. God loves us even when we were his enemies, as it says in Scripture. While we were yet enemies, God loved us and sent his Son for us. God sends you to love your enemies so that they may become friends, those who we care about. Notice it doesn't say here, like your enemies. And I find that encouraging as well. We don't have to pretend about how we feel towards somebody else. Maybe somebody, the way they treat us, makes us not want to be around them. That doesn't mean we can't still love them. How do you love your enemies? The first thing you do is pray for them. The second thing you do is you decide not to let them influence who you are. We choose to love because God is love. We will not let somebody else change us into what we don't wish to be. Yes, it's easy to say that, harder to do, but the point is this. If we turn to God and say, God, fill me with your spirit, teach me to love, teach me to love my enemies, then what we have are opportunities to make the choice to do differently than the way somebody would treat us. And you, we just never know how things will change. Maybe our treatment of somebody will be the one thing that brings them towards a sense of who God is by acting as Jesus Christ towards them. Paul once said, if your enemy is mistreating you, treat him with kindness, for in so doing you are pouring hot coals upon his head. We start to nag at their conscience by being kind and loving. Maybe they won't accept it. A lot of times bullies don't, but that's on them. Our only concern is being faithful to God to the degree that God gives us the strength to be faithful. Let's have a word of prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, you are our greatest friend and the one who loves us more than anybody. Teach us, give us the spiritual discipline to learn how to love our enemies so that we may be true Christians indeed. Through Christ our Lord we pray, amen, in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, amen. God bless you and have a good day. By Wednesday we will be having online on YouTube and other places a training video on how to re how we are going to re-enter worship at Travis Air Force Base St. Michael Catholic Community. So stay tuned to that, watch it, and see if you have if it makes sense to you. And we'll be talking about things such as pre-registration, how we register to come to Mass. You can still come even if you don't register, but it helps us to prepare for you. So do pay attention when this comes out. My guess is Wednesday, uh, Wednesday late afternoon, maybe even earlier. Have a great day. God bless you. Talk to you soon.